Uh, Stifler, ask the radies to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten. Oh my gosh. I hate that. So why don't we what? start... Who do, who do we... What did you rate yourself... Did you say 10? Well, I kind of changed 10? it did last you say time 10? because was we were nine? including, like, I thought we were including, like, yeah, just, personality, like... But you were 10 values. last time. I was 10, yeah. Are you 10? I'm, I'm 10? Still She's still 10. 10. She's still 10. 10. Okay, all right. She's a 10. What about you? I'm going to say 10. In, into the mic, please. A 10. A 10. Um, a 9. A 10. Do we just have to say the number? I'm sorry, I talk so much. <laughs> but do we just have to say the number or do we get explained? Number. Ugh. Well, this, the question is, uh, rate your looks I know on the a question. scale of one to 10. And say why? Can you say why or no? Sure, yeah. Okay, thanks. I would say nine because there's always room for improvement. <laughs> that That's it? Yeah. That's all you had to say? You yeah. needed all that foreplay? <laughs> we, we didn't like, need the foreplay. One, two, 10, oh 20. Okay. Like, I'm all like, right. like so nine okay what about you i'm gonna be super irritating and disagreeable but i don't think that encouraging women to value give themselves a value rating on their looks is conducive with feminism so i'll have to pass i'm a complex woman Word. i get the job done but you can acknowledge that some women are more attractive than others physically sure sure you got, if you're going to speak, Sorry. you got to speak into I the mic. I think everybody's beautiful. I don't think it should be like off of like looks. There are certainly people who are not beautiful. I just don't think that we should <laughs> okay. value. I just don't think that we should value looks over other things. I think that the real, I mean, the reality of the situation is that people are ugly and people are beautiful. It's just, I hate this movement. Like everyone is beautiful. Everyone is sexy. There are things that you can be like being sexy, being beautiful is so useless. It's so useless. Know, like, it's pretty honestly, useful. Yeah. It's pretty useful. Um, it yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty useful. useful. <laughs> no, for the for, for the first half of a woman's life, sure. It's well, not I mean, very useful. Well, I your the second entire half. life. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, obviously, of- aging diminishes your um, attractiveness, but mm-hmm. it's better to be an attractive sixty-year-old than an, an unattractive. It does not change 60-year-old. your value. Well, yeah. It doesn't change your value, but it does certainly have an impact on how people treat 100%. you. Sure, for socialization, yeah. People will treat you differently if you are well, yeah, attractive. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have an impact on But it doesn't have you... any real value. Well, I mean, if you can't... I mean, what, I think it I does. Mean, with how do you determine value? what is real value? I mean, if, if you are... It can bring value. If you are so physically attractive that you can basically monetize that, to the for example, for, for models... Well, I'm against for, that. <laughs> well, you're, you're... Well, we're not talking necessarily about, like nudity here you're you're against like proper like magazine models like a, a chick who's the way advertising that, for the way that women are used as, as opposed to men as a as a, yeah as opposed to men as uh, objects in for advertisement i am against yeah but you don't object to do you dis, you don't think that men are used in the same way no perhaps not to the same degree and i mean that's reflected in the fact that there's more women. Who There's are a different social zeitgeist money. for women being sexualized than there is for men. Why well, I, I reject that, but it don't. It doesn't matter if you reject well, it. It's what's happening around you. Perhaps in the context of, for example, if we're speaking specifically about sex work. Sure. It's everything. There are there are women. There are advertisements with for milk with milk all over a woman's face, and that's supposed to symbolize ejaculate. There's. That doesn't happen with men. That's not that's not could the advert. Could it just be milk though? It could just be milk. It could just be milk. There are certainly advertisements that are just <laughs> milk, right? I'm not saying that every time a woman is on an advertisement it's sexualized, but it certainly is more sexualized and sure. the zeitgeist is very different for women sexually than it is for men. Okay. So but you, you have an issue though with the whole objectification of female body, yeah. Well, you have an issue with the rating system. Yes. Because why? Why, why, because, why do you je- object to the question? Because it, it, you only ask it so that your chat can laugh and decide whether or not these women are actually tens or what they look like, and I object to that. You object to what part? Why you're asking the question. So you object to me asking the question? Yes. Why? Because I don't, I don't think... <laughs> you, bring, you bring these women on to laugh oh. at them and oh. for the chat to laugh at them, and I Here object to that. So wait, well, you're strawmanning kind of what I do. It's a not bit. a strawman, baby. That's what you do. You you're saying I bring women on to what? 
so that they say something. St- you bring on uneducated, False. unself aware women. What? I, False. I have a master's degree. I'm not, I'm not uneducated. False. I'm not just, Fake news. Disavow. I'm not saying that every single woman is, but that is the whole model of the show is that you bring on unself aware women, you bring on uneducated women. That's not true. So that you can laugh at them and so that the chat can laugh at Didn't them. Didn't you message him it's asking to be podcast, on this? Though. Yes. Too? So I could say this. That that's wow. that's all you wanted to say. Well, I'm Absolutely. sure there's more you have to say. There's well, a I mean, things. I I certainly <laughs> reject your assertion there. Um, I mean, then what's the objective of the show? What's the objective of the yeah, show? Yeah, why are there so many clips going around of uh, Gorlock the Destroyer of mm. Worlds, and why are there so many sure. clips of young blonde women saying very dumb things in very little clothing? Well, let's not discount the brunette women who are saying dumb things sure. too. But them too. So. <laughs> I mean, first off, when it comes to the clips, I would say that actually we're not clipping. But you know what's in-house. clippable, huh? You know what's clippable. Oh, I know Listen, exactly I, what's clippable. Wait, but a lot I of these like people like watch the podcast and they clip it on on our, on our behalf. So, uh, you, you're asserting that I'm. And you still know they're going to do it. Well, you're asserting that I'm making the women look dumb. However, we're not. You have this this measure of plausible deniability in which you can reject that you're doing that. But everyone knows it's what you're doing. That's what this what? platform is for. You, well, that's a straw man. That's not a straw man. It's a straw man. You, you're saying then what's the, the intent. Then what's the steel the, man? You're saying the intent of the platform is to bring women on to make them look stupid. The basically the premise of the show is bring a group to of people to laugh at the modern woman. Don't interrupt me. Let me actually explain my explain what the podcast is about. I won't. We bring people on. We bring both men and women on, and we talk about modern dating, and often why modern dating sucks Mm -hmm. and we have long form conversations lasting anywhere from three to four to five hours uh and you know oftentimes a lot of these clips and look we we make clips too and we know you know oh she said something interesting he said something interesting so we do clip but we do as far as the show goes we like i said have three four five hour long form conversations where we get into the nuance of various dating related topics. Sure. I mean, we spent 30 minutes talking about the, you know, your background and how you're against sex work and you know, we we got pretty deep into that and and I think I've, I've not conducted not that you're evil. I don't think that you're doing all of this on purpose. I think that that's a happy accident because those are the clips that go viral. And you know that and you like it. Uh, well, of, of course I like clips yeah. going viral. Yeah, that that's businessman. Makes money. Exactly. Yeah, I, I like if clips go viral. Sure, that's that's great. It brings more eyeballs to the show. Sure. But. I even saw that you retweeted a, a a video of someone you know of uh, someone uh, some one of the hosts calling one of the girls a dumb bitch, and then it goes into the meta of the person watching it calling the girl a dumb bitch, and then it goes into the meta of someone watching and calling that a dumb bitch. You know what the show does. You know what it is. Wait, what did I retweet? No, I don't think anybody on the show has any ever called anyone a dumb bitch. Are you sure. talking about a cartoon? Yeah. You're talking about the cartoon. Yes, that is the social perception of the show. Wait, you, did I even? Re- I don't know if I retweeted that. I saw Are you talking it about on freedom? Your, Are you talking about freedom tunes? I saw it on your your Twitter feed. I'm not sure if I reposted that on my Twitter feed. However, if you're talking about the freedom tunes cartoon, it doesn't. It, which whether is or not satirical, you retweeted. Which is yes. satirical, which was not produced by whatever. So you, you don't think that anyone watches that show, this show for that? For what? Yo, I really don't think it's women. that serious. I mean, yeah, I think <laughs> like, yeah. Brian invites inter-verse. girls on, inter-verse. asks them no, questions, and they answer the questions. No, it is that serious, and you know it's that serious. It's only serious Wait, if you take that it that deep. Yeah. You know, I don't think it's that deep. What, whatever. what is that serious? I feel like this is just a lighthearted, like, casual. Someone tell me a joke. We're just talking and... It is yeah. lighthearted, but we can also get real at the same time. I'm sorry if that's uncomfortable. I'm, I'm perfectly it's happy to continue ca- talking about this. Please, go ahead. I'm perfectly happy also. I think that there are other things I that need you need ibuprofen. I have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to so, lie. <laughs> let, let me just address the cartoon thing. <laughs> a satirical no, cartoonist <laughs> called Freedom Tunes made a cartoon... Uh, there was something about, I, I forgot. It, first off, that wasn't produced by whatever. And that's, it, it was taking it have jabs at us. And it was, I mean, it was in good spirit. I thought it was funny. No, I love yes, being called and stupid. Whether or not, whether or not you <laughs> created Degradation, it. Degradation, right? Whether or not you created it or you made it or you signed off on it or you liked it, any of that. Sure. The reality is that people watch this show and that's what they get from it. And that's mm. why it was popular, right? Well, look, um, 
Certainly, I would say that. And you take measures with your your little and your little you know sign thing to be like, we can't do anything here. Like, what do you, what do you mean? Be, do mi here? be mindful of be mindful of uh, you know what you're saying online because you're you're writing you're giving us the rights to use this for whatever we want to use it for. I'm not following you there. Can you clarify a bit? What you you're talking about our talent releases? Yeah. You object to us having people sign talent releases? No, I don't object to that. I'm saying that you have you ever been part of a production at any other point Wait, in your life? It's hold on, I just answered your question. I said that I don't. Re I said but, that I don't. But why bring that. bring up the talent releases? I'm just gonna go ahead and take these. Don't now. you just leave it there? Leave it there. <laughs> what are they? No, I only brought up the talent releases to to say that you okay. know. <laughs> Please. We don't have to have this conversation now. What? No, explain wh explain what you mean about the talent releases. So with the talent release, you are very, I mean, with or without the talent release, you are aware that the internet is forever and that you bring on these women and sometimes you even ask them pointed questions so you sort of get them into a position where they say something stupid and then it gets clipped. But also, why are you coming on here? I know you talked about like wanting to get away from like the sex work and getting away from like, like having that like be your... I guess mantra or whatever, but you're coming on here talking about it on like a really big podcast Like I feel like if you were trying to get away from that and you weren't on OF anymore Then it would make more sense, but you're still making money on OF be and you're also coming on here saying well I mean she OF. she's a feminist she intentionally came on and I, I knew as much I mean she intentionally came on because she obviously wanted to challenge me, which is fine I don't mind it. Um, so to it as far as the talent releases go, what is your primary <laughs> gripe Brian. with the talent releases? Right, it's not the talent release, it's your awareness of what happens in the show. I think that's that can happen in the though. That can happen I, so on what do you, what, if you're listen, what, what does I think the talent inside, releases inside, have to do Inside with everyone, it? there are two wolves. <laughs> I think that. Two wolves? I think that, yeah, two wolves. One, okay. one aspect of the show is that you want to get clipped and you want you know young girls to come on and make a fool of themselves. Welcome to the inner. Well, as far as getting the getting clipped part, I would say welcome to the internet. Yes, Listen, we, stupid, we want to you, be successful. Yes, of course you do. Of course you do. I, I want to be successful. And I'm and but you are allowed to have that space. I'm not saying that you should be deplatformed. You are allowed to have the space. And if people want to come on and be stupid and they want to be, you know, shout out their OnlyFans, they can do that also. I'm also allowed to come on. Julia Sandoval, subscribe. Raven. I'm also allowed Raven. to come on and challenge you, right? Sure. Hey, Roy, Roy. Right. So right. there's that aspect. And, a, and, and a then there's the second aspect okay. of which you do use this show to say some pretty poignant things. I think that you telling women that they're like sexual selectors and you telling women to, I mean, the, your delivery is a little rocky on some of it. Like when you talk about a woman's body count potentially making her be of less value, I think that that's a problem. I've, well, I've never said that. I think it's more so the it's chat more that in brings the implication. It in, it's not Right. Well, so, okay, really quick on body count. I've never said that if a woman is slept with a lot of men, that in terms of her value as a human, that she's worth less. However, I have you haven't, said... I think that you're actually very careful with your words also. I, think I, tr that you put, I try to be, You for bring the most on part. other people who do, and then you're like, oh, this is so naughty. <laughs> and, and, but the implication is still there. It's I mean, still, I've been pretty strong on my position when it comes to body count. I mean, sure. I, I mean I've said that, for example, I think promiscuity is disgusting. Sure. So, I mean, I, I think I You also I said that you like position. large labia minora, Big which fan. I appreciated. I appreciate it. I'm a, I'm a fan. You're a Listen, female enjoyer. I I'm a feminist. It. Yeah, I a lot of people it. want to say, Brian, you're anti-feminist. <laughs> I am the ultimate feminist. Okay, I think. I think labia plasty. Labia plasty. It's labia plasty. Labia plasty. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in favor. Okay. Yeah. Any women, by the way, who feel self-conscious about their large labia, my DMs are open. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I like large labia. What can I say? I'm a fan That's of beautiful. large labia. I, I think it's. I That's think. A but thing. but it, it is actually a feminist position that. You know, all these magazines in the 80s and 90s were showing women who had small labia, whatever, boom, boom, boom. So it set the standard of like how their body should be. They feel insecure. 10,000 women a year get labia placed. For no reason. For purely cosmetic reasons. Yep. It is a tragedy. And as an as a admirer of just it's a tragedy labia, just because just you don't do love that it. Shit. Just don't do that. Well, I mean, I'm I'm not in favor of plastic surgery to begin with. Sure. 